the anthems first. Spain in a moment. First, that of Turkey. Agora o hino nacional da Espanha. So after the anthems, the players are introduced to the crowd. It's one of the nice features of football five-a-side at the Paralympic Games, that each of the players can feel the warmth of the crowd for them individually before everything gets underway. Ibrahim's had a really good tournament uh, in a defensive capacity. So too the number six, Abdullah. The Turkey have only managed to score on one occasion and that was in their third group match against Morocco that ended in a one-all draw the number seven there Emre Ochal got the goal and they've got a player still suspended today Erkan Bayrakta who got sent off against Brazil for punching and is still banned Spain um, got a goal finally against Mexico after the two defeats against China and Argentina that saw them tumble from contention for the semi-finals. Sergio Rodriguez back in goal today. He started and played the full match against China in the first group game. And Yusuf El Hadawi is back from a suspension. He picked up two yellow cards in the first two matches. Had to sit out to uh, the Mexico game. Huge experience on the uh, Spanish bench. Adolfo Acosta at uh, 35. Got the goal from a double penalty just outside the uh, penalty box against uh, Mexico. Marcelo Rosado at 37 in his fourth games. Stuart Winton leading the team of officials and he will collaborate with uh, Jeremy Guimaraes on the field of play with uh, help from the third official Francois Carcoué where required.
And these playoff matches are always important for uh, world ranking points, as well as for the pride of the players. It's got to be nice at a major championship to uh, leave with a victory. It's got to leave you with much happier feelings about the way things went. Great respect between these two teams. As we say, they are familiar foes. Turkey really tremendously improved team under John Ball in the last uh, four years. Eighth out of eight in London playing on a wild card four years ago. Lost all their games without scoring a couple of heavy defeats in there. Two years later at the World Championship, 11th. Didn't really signal what was to come. And a European title when they impressed so many last year. But they haven't really made the kind of impact, perhaps, at this tournament they would have hoped to do. Stymied by Iran in the opening match when Iran was slightly the better team and Iran had impressed. 2-0 defeat to uh, Brazil in match number two. And once Iran had drawn with Brazil, there was no hope for Turkey to reach the semi-finals. And a one-all draw with Morocco. Well, they got their first ever goal in Paralympic five-a-side football. That was the main thing. So this is a battle for European supremacy. No European sides in the last four. Two from South America, two from Asia, Brazil, China, and Argentina, Iran are the two uh, matches that we're looking forward to hugely later in the day. But these are two highly capable, very well organized sides. <laughs> Whose trust in one another has to be complete in this form of football. Just close your eyes for a second and imagine the kind of concentration that you'd have to sustain over a football match to keep in touch with your teammates, the position of the ball, your location on the field in respect of all the other players and the goals. These guys are extraordinary athletes, and we're set for another enthralling 50 minutes of football. 25 minutes each way, the crowd being worn for the last time. But their silence while the ball is in play is imperative. Here we go. So Spain in the red against to Turkey in what is uh, actually white with light blue markings on it. And Turkey with Karaman in possession here. Looking for Celal. Hiera locating the pass for Spain. We'll see just how intent both sides are on an organised defence today. Whether, with it being a playoff match, there's a little less caution. Spain, in particular, renowned for being a terrific defensive unit. Is Karaman good tackle by Hiera? Good balance about the tackle, making sure he came away with the ball. Can El Hadawi? pose a goal threat for Spain. Well in by Chalal, he's, he's been tidy in this tournament. Karaman. And Ivan Lopez's tackle ruled a little late.
So the first team foul against Spain. You'll know by now that if the team fouls in a given half of a match get beyond three, then each foul thereafter sends the opponent to the eight metre penalty mark for a clear shot at goal, unless the foul's closer in, of course. So a disincentive to break the rules. Stuart Winton, the ref here, is trying to get on with things. You can sense that. So Spain have had their time to get their defence sorted, so now it's time for Hassan Yildirim to give his instructions. And there can't be any sound from anybody else while he does this. So it's a good 11 metres out this. Karaman advances. And he got plenty of beef behind the strike. The wall just kept its position there for Spain. Nobody broke out to try and close down the striker. Caraman, Ivan Lopez kept in contact with him. Here is uh, El Hadawi for the first time. Neat stop and go. Now he's looking for Hiera with the pass. Ibrahim has been a, a doughty obstacle for Turkey at the back. Chalal losing out to El Hadawi. We'll start again from halfway. And that allowed Chalal to relocate him and come away with the ball. And now Chalal nearly away from Hiera. Ivan using his body. That's going to drift out, is it? It's not. <laughs> well, it, it stopped rolling with a part of the ball on a part of the line and I think in the end Stuart Winton who's right there isn't he just decided okay that'll do goal kick <laughs> here's the free kick it did go between defenders on the end of the wall not sure that was exactly as Spain would have wished that Look at the speed with which Turkey will get out to the corner taker here. Karaman getting swiftly out there to restrain the space for El Hadawi. Don't let the dribbling player gain momentum. So many of these players have such terrific ball skills. They move the ball swiftly from side to side like this from Karaman. Karaman all the way through. And the referee saw a touch from the goalkeeper there to just help turn it over the crossbar. A good height on the shot, didn't he, Karaman? The goal three metres wide, but two metres high, so there's often quite a lot of space up above the goalkeepers who elect often to start from a low position. Karaman from the corner, what a good run. Now, can Chelal find this? Very hard to strike a ball on goal first time as it's rolling towards you. It's got to be extraordinary effort of concentration and timing to put that towards goal. It was too tough for Chelal that time. Easy for the crowd, of course, to get excited about a moment like that. Karaman. 
Now Chalal and was Chalal grabbing hold of the boards there too much. That's what the uh, officials didn't like. Can't grab with both with both hands on the top of the kickboards when you're under pressure from uh, a defender. If you do that, the opponents will get an indirect free kick. Now the high ball from uh, Javier Munoz. And El Hadawi's got it. And Ali Aktash just got enough of his body in the way. Well, it's an intriguing tactic, this, because the ball makes no sound while it's in the air. Then the bounce, and the players will realise what's going on. Miguel Becerra giving the Spanish attackers instructions from the corner. While well, the ball's in the attacking third, it's his responsibility and his alone to communicate with the Spain team. The goalkeeper will be talking to the defenders from Turkey's perspective. There's a good intensity about this match at the start. Until the referee steps in and says, get back in your goalkeeper's box. Right. Here goes Hiera. Swift change. And the wall that had been arranged had just readjusted its position neatly to block the shot. Ibrahim and Abdullah. Kiera's ball across towards Hadawi. Hadawi trying to get away from Ibrahim. It's a goal kick. <laughs> nice hug between the pair, too. Corner off Javier Munoz. That's the way, isn't it? If only all football players, when there was a bit of a tumble and a collision of legs and what have you, pulled one another to their feet and had a big hug and got on with it. Emre Ocel for the first time for uh, Turkey. And immediately into the action from the corner kick. Hassan, Hassan Yildirim is the Turkish guide behind the goal. With a couple of last minute bits of info. But the Spanish defence were out in force and with great speed. Oh, a shooting chance. It was Abdullah, who it came to on the edge of the penalty area. Complaint from Javier Munoz that he was tripped there. But no foul given. Another corner for Turkey. Karaman this time moved away swiftly from the boards to try and get some space knowing that the Spanish defense had been out so fast the previous occasion it's a strong player Karaman here's Emra let's come off Ivan and it will be another corner to Turkey El Hadawi off that's Adolfo Acosta who's coming on. Fourth Paralympics, twice a bronze medalist, Adolfo. Adolfo. 
Adolfo immediately. Good block by Ali Aktash at his near post. Uh, there's a shove there from Adolfo. Uh, he's got the corner. Swift turn once he got past the defender. Moving the ball quickly. And hitting it early. Plenty of action. Fourth corner here for Spain. Make that five. 11 minutes in, no goals. Big shouts of Voy coming for the the, from the defenders. You have to make that sound according to the rules of the game. Adolfo on the ball for Spanish side. He's got a good grip of the kickboards there. Abdullah still chasing it. Ivan also uh, risking a penalty here for grabbing hold of the boards. The importance of making the noise Voy, of course, is because the attacker has the ball at his feet. The ball's making a noise. The defender has to offer a, an insight into his location as well. Adolfo all the way through and then... Abdullah, who was in the way, the referees judged that he didn't play the man. Oh, it's Ibrahim, the last player. No, it's Adolfo who kicks the defender rather than the other way around. And that's why no foul was given. collision off the ball there unfortunate coming together and I think Adolfo has come off worse there so the referee called a, a timeout he's okay Goalkeeper can only handle the ball inside that goalkeeper's area. Which protrudes just two metres in front of his goal. It's five metres wide all told, so a metre either side of the posts. Kiera. Well, an attempt from Spain. Had a few though. This man Adolfo has been at the heart of it. Two Turkish players collide. They won't be pleased about that. Karaman. It's hoping that there was a team made out there on the left wing, but. Kiera made quick progress. Now he's away from uh, Abdullah. And Abdullah made a good recovery there. 
and Ibrahim just kept his distance, made sure that Abdullah had room enough to make the tackle both times, waiting to step in if the attacker got round his teammate. Often feels like in football five aside, attacking is an individual thing more often than not, but defending is very much about the unit. Hassan on for Turkey to replace Karaman. And he had a very good game against Morocco last time out. It was very unfortunate not to score. Emre for Turkey. Looking to switch the play to Hassan, trying to pull the Spanish defenders out of position. Marcelo Rosado for Jose Luis Hiera. Also completed, it, competed in athletics, Marcelo, once upon a time. Before he had to choose between the two and went for football. Long ball from Javier Munoz towards Adolfo. Swift throw from Sergio Rodriguez to Adolfo on the halfway line. Marcelo was always second or third favourite there. Adolfo in to win it back for Spain. Ivan back to Adolfo. They worked that out well. Knew one another's location. And Adolfo. Some swift little pirouettes. Uh, goal kick is all that uh, results. And you hear the shout of goalkeeper or corner from the referees come very quickly when the ball's gone out of play, along with the whistle, giving the players every opportunity to react immediately. Adolfo. Oh, that's an accurate pass to Marcelo good sight of goal and uh, not quite the strike he was hoping for but the information would have come to Marcelo he would have known actually he would have known that his location was pretty close to goal Chalal back with Abdullah taking a breather. Spain, seven shots to Turkey's four. Three on target from the Spanish. They've been a little more attack-minded today. Very much in their opening two games against China and Argentina, they were reminded to just keep it completely tight they defended as a block of four throughout and offered very little as an attacking threat after the opening couple of rounds of matches no team had, had fewer attempts on goal in Spain
But if their plan was to get a couple of draws against those better teams and then put a couple of goals past Mexico, perhaps it was understandable tactics to try and play on the counter-attack like that. They believed in their defensive strengths. But when it went against them, they didn't have a way of responding. The goal, particularly in the China game, came relatively late on as well. Marcelo from the corner. Hassan with a challenge. And now Hassan is after the loose ball, and he's found it. Beyond Ivan, and still Hassan. didn't get the solid contact on the ball. I think he realized he was to the right of goal, was trying to hook the ball back in towards the posts. In comes 15-year-old Sergio Alomar, the youngest player in this tournament. It's Hassan's run. He was only a couple of metres from goal, wasn't it? The ball was running away from him quickly. He'd just been had his rhythm interrupted by the contact from the defenders and didn't quite catch up with the, the speed of the roll of the ball. Chell out. Now, this is a speedy little run. Elected to check back, only to go right again, but... Ivan, by that point, had caught up with things. Hassan. You can hear the guy behind the goal constantly orientating him. Emra trying to find a little bit of room. Javier Munoz with the clearance. Sergio Alomar. And what skill has the young man got here? Alomar. Good effort for Spain. was uh, too much from the defenders for the referees liking. Emra brought down. It's going to be Spain's second team foul, I think, there. It wasn't Marcelo who was the problem. It was Ivan coming in from behind. Not long left in the opening half, though. Three minutes ten. Clock still running at this point. We were in the last two minutes of the half. It would have stopped with a free kick. This is another change to the rules that is likely to happen in the next year or so. Well, there'll be less time on the clock at the start of a half, but they'll be stopping it every time. Well, the guide was interrupted by the goalkeeper there, and that's the warning. Everybody's got their turn again. And once the guide is doing his thing, he's got to be allowed quiet to communicate his instructions to the rest of the team. He's positioning Chal in front of the goalkeeper to make it more difficult too. Hassan went for the effort from long range.
not every team by any stretch stations a player in front of the goalkeeper when they've got a, a free kick like that a risk I suppose if you do lose the ball counter attacks can be made but Is Emra. Hassan surrounded, but still scrapping. Javi Munoz. Should be Ibrahim's ball. Uh, Marcelo's been penalised here. He's saying to the referee, he made contact with the ball. I mean, he. Well, it is the third team foul against Spain in the first half there. Much to the consternation of uh, the Spanish team. Free kick's a long way out, but here's Emra making ground, and good ground! What a super run, and what a good save from Sergio Rodriguez. That's the moment of the first half for sure. Yeah, and the excitement. Yeah, the players are even appealing for, for quiet. And there was a collision after this brilliant run by Emre Ochao. Fine save. The crowd got excited, got into it. And then it's really difficult for the players to build their pictures of what's going on if the sound is is coming from outside and the usual signals aren't there to be interpreted Sergio Alomar had a bit of a crack in a collision that might have been to do with that So El Hadawi is back in there. So is uh, Carmelo Garrido for the first time. There he is, the 44-year-old defender. Abdullah back for Hassan. So difficult when you're watching the, the football. Something great happens like that. It's suppressing all the normal reactions to, to keep yourself quiet. Would have been such a great goal from Emra. Last minute then of the first half. And nil-nil, but it's been an entertaining game, a good game between Turkey and Spain. A good balance between defence and attack. Not too much of the former. Now here is Emra again. Couldn't get himself into the penalty box that time. Spain one foul away from conceding a, an eight metre penalty at the end of the half. That'll be on their minds. Marcelo trying to barge his way past Abdullah. And that'll come to Ali Aktash. Came back to him via a defender, though, so he had to play it with the feet. Last few seconds, it's going to have to be a swift shot from Emra. And there's no time for the pass. So the first half comes to an end. Very enjoyable. Turkey with seven efforts on goal. Spain with eight. So both sides have uh, 
been uh, a useful attacking force. Turkey coming the closest, though, through Emra right at the end of the half. It remains Turkey nil, Spain nil at the break. Nothing between them in the first half, really. Spain 47% of the ball, Turkey 53. And the stats demonstrating that it's uh, it's pretty even. Spain certainly as attacking today, if not more so than they've been in uh, in their third match against Mexico. Much more attacking than they were in their opening two matches. Proving that they can do it too. Emra, I think, for Turkey has, has found um, is finding his feet in the in these games. Scored a lot of goals at the European Championship last year. So it hasn't threatened on a really regular basis. 13 shots prior to today. But he seems to be growing in confidence. Here are the highlights of the first half. Caraman early on from the free kick uh, made swift ground forward and then cracked the shot wide. There was a fingertip there from the goalkeeper. Caraman got good height on that. That was the thing about the shot. El Hadawi denied from really close range by Ali Aktash. Adolfo, when he came on, immediately made things happen and uh, forced a good save there from the Turkish keeper. That was a much more straightforward one from uh, Hiera. I don't think that was ever going to trouble Ali Aktash. Marcelo was in a good position, couldn't quite uh, get the shot away. This was the chance, wasn't it? Emra worked his way in brilliantly into the uh, penalty box. And uh, the crowd couldn't resist a, a cheer and a round of applause for the uh, for the run and for the save from Sergio Rodriguez. So, all to play for still. Fifth and sixth place playoff. Turkey nil, Spain nil at half time.
So a change of goalkeeper for Turkey for the second half here. With Akion Aykut coming on for his first minutes of these games. So the second half of this fifth and sixth place playoff here in Rio. In the football fiver side, Spain in the red. Turkey in the light blue. And after a goalless first 25 minutes, can one of these two European rivals find the breakthrough? Hiera, but not testing Aykut Akion with the first attempt of on goal in this second half. Adolfo, slippery runner. Again, well wide of goal, but... Well, the referee's point to the guide and the goalkeeper is that they were talking to the players while the ball was in the middle third of the field. And those dotted lines on the pitch are clearly in place to signify who's communicating when the ball's in what part of the field. Hiera, comfortable for the goalkeeper. So the guide and the goalkeeper can only communicate with their players when the ball is in that third, the right-hand third as we're looking from the main camera. Now the head coaches can talk to the players. And then when Turkey are on the tack, of course, it's their guide who can talk to them. And Spain are defending, and it's the Spanish goalkeeper who can talk to them there. Chill out for Turkey on the run here. Ivan was strong. And then got a bit of help too from Adolfo. If you think there are a lot of voices, though, coming from various different players, the defenders with their shouts of voy, of course, they have to make to let the attacker know where they are. And there's the ball. Both coaches are shouting instructions. Players communicating with one another. Guides and goalkeepers. Imagine how difficult it is for the players on, on the field, how hard they're having to concentrate as the picture in their head constantly changes of where everything is. Adolfo got a hand in the mouth and nose there, I think. So the referees have stepped in. And he is all right. But it must have been a bit of a shock at the time. Emra, a bit of arm grabbing to begin with, and then a, a finger up the nostril. <laughs> Sharp call of boy, you heard from Hiera. They let the ball carrier think twice and turn back the other way. Adolfo's got it. Battling with Chalau. Abdullah with a clean tackle for Turkey. 
Super tackle. Nothing much from Turkey as an attacking threat in this second half yet. Three and a half minutes into it, still we wait the opening goal. Maybe Chilal might change that now. Trying to build a picture of where the defenders are. Collecting for the pass towards Emra. Adolfo. Adolfo finding a way between defenders. But again, good defending as a unit from Turkey. Got away from one. Second one looked to be beaten, but with help from the third, they closed the doors and stopped him. Now, Emra. Spain having to get three around him. Well, Emra somehow got the, uh, the touch of it, I mean, amongst all that, uh, that grouping of players. Adolfo. Adolfo is allowed all the way through to goal there. You can hear, heard him apologise to uh, Aykut for making a bit of contact with the Turkish keeper. Now, Emra was tripped there. Ivan penalised. First team foul of the half. That's three individual fouls against Ivan. He's committed three out of the four fouls in total that Spain have had whistled against them. When he gets to five, he won't be able to play any further part in the match. So for the time being, early in the half, first team foul, Spain can put the wall in place. So when they get to four team fouls, Turkey would have a direct shot on goal from the eight meter mark. All this position if they felt it was better. Right, Spain have had their time to talk. So here comes the guide. And it's about nine metres out to the left of centre. Again, Abdullah's right in front of the goalkeeper. He's pulled away. Oh, and Emra nearly wrong-footed the keeper. Who wasn't helped by the fact that Abdullah was just obscuring his view of things. It worked out very well. Good angle on the shot. He was really stretching for that, Sergio Rodriguez. Return of Sergio for Adolfo. Emra and Chelal are the two players over it. Chelal's left it for Emra. Boyish calls a voy from 15-year-old Sergio Alomar. Emra. Ivan blocking his path again. I understand the temptation for both players to grab hold of those kickboards. Now, solid challenge by Javier Munoz for Spain. Just broke the game open for a second. Really, it's Adolfo, the, the player who's carried the attacking threat, though, for the Spanish team. 
Emra, he was tripped by a reaching Ivan there, and that's four personal fouls now for Ivan, which means he'll get shown the yellow card. Second team foul for Spain in this second half. Yeah, he knows he's on four. Emra had him beaten there, fair and square. And this free kick's in pretty much exactly the same position as the one well, a couple of minutes ago when Emra forced that low save from Sergio Rodriguez. Sergio Rodriguez just wants a little more time to get things organized. A message for Emra. I think if we were a, a multilinguist in this game, you'd, uh, you'd have a small advantage. Emra went straight for goal this time, and Javier Munoz got a really quick, good read on it and went straight out bravely and accurately. Emra has won it back here from Ivan, who must be evidently careful. And then Emra retreating with a foul from behind. He chopped down Javier Munoz. First foul Turkey have committed in this second half, but it was a fairly bruising one. Yeah, the protective face mask that uh, he wears, Javier Munoz, was uh, sent flying after he uh, hit the artificial turf. We saw Yusuf El Hadawi warming up for Spain as if he's going to come back on very shortly, but Emra has uh, some kind of problem here too. That's Hassan for Abdullah. And uh, Emra is going to have to come off as well. Now what did he do here, Emra? He, he looked okay to begin with. That's Hassan. He's a good runner with the ball, Hassan. I haven't really seen that today. Recep is on for the first time as well. Spain restarting with a free kick from inside their own half. Hiera by the left boards. 15 minutes to go. Nil-nil. Turkey and Spain for fifth place here. Alomar. Recep in with a tackle. 20-year-old defender. But still five years the senior of the player he's marking here. Recep following the clearance, following it pretty accurately. Now Hassan. Neatly done by Hassan away from Javi Munoz, and he might get a shot in here. He still might. Munoz is trying to keep him away forcefully from goal, but he won't give in, Hassan until he sliced the shot wide. <laughs> he 
Vieira for Spain, collecting the long ball in a good position. Tried to sneak through along the goal line. The Turkish defence hasn't let too much pass today. Good tackle by Celal on Hiera. Hassan away from Alamar and then away from Ivan and then Ivan got back well because Hassan had beaten Javi Munoz as well Chilal now well he's trying to seek out Hassan they worked out well one another's positions but still taking the ball early in space there, so difficult when it's happening that quickly. For Hassan again. In off the boards. Alamar did well. Got a good solid foot in. Now he's trying to help out Javi Munoz. And he's done more than that. Alamar in the Turkish territory. Trying to keep Reset behind him. Well, he got a shot away. Nothing to trouble Aykut, though. Corner here to Turkey. El Hadawi's back for Spain. Kiera will take a rest. Well, is anybody going to provide the breakthrough in uh, normal time here? 12 minutes to play. When they met at the European Championships last year, it finished in a nil-nil draw and went to penalties. Crucial semi-final match in which qualification for these games was on the line. Turkey won it, got to the final and won the championship where they beat Russia in the final. Russia then was subsequently excluded and Spain, who'd one against Great Britain in the third place playoff after a nil-nil draw on penalties. Got the last place as a result. Ooh, a good run there by Hassan. Chelal just confronted by the entire Spanish team, really, but Hassan might find a way through it. What a struggle to clear the ball. El Hadawi away, and there's only two between him and goal here, and now there's only one. El Hadawi, super run. Oh, what a good save. He nearly went from coast to coast. Swift counter attack from Yusuf El Hadawi, away from Recep. And he beat Ibrahim too. Reasonably straightforward save at the near post by Aiko Dakion, but that's as busy as he's been. And the timeout has been called with uh, well, about 11 and a half minutes to go. Spain's timeout. And some encouraging words from Jose Caratala. Hassan would rather get the water on board than <laughs> hear anything the coaching staff have got to say. Drink for the referee too. Little uh, montage of some of the skill that's been on show today. Well, 
Adolfo is coming back on for Spain, and uh, you have to feel that that's uh, a likely route of them getting a potentially winning goal here. Now just the two attempts on goal, Adolfo. But, uh, he's their best player to my eye. So we're restarting after the save by the Turkish goalkeeper with the Spain corner. And Adolfo is immediately going to get on the ball here. And see if he can work some magic. Well, they were looking for the early ball across towards El Hadawi. I think that was the plan. And Miguel Becerra, quite clearly the guy there, speaking to the corner taker and the man in the middle as well. To try and give both as much information as he possibly could. Adolfo. He went high with that. That came off the defender. Another corner. Important the referee just keeps the ball moving there to make sure the defenders have adequate information with which to locate their positions relative to the to the corner being taken. Well located that, wasn't it, by Abdullah here. Feeling it coming across the penalty area and getting a boot to, to, to clear it and then following his own clearance. And he's going to get a corner here for Turkey as a result. And you think how little time he had to react to that ball coming across his own penalty area. Checking that the eye patches on uh, Abdullah were well secured. Last 10 minutes, then. Can somebody find a goal to end this before we go to a shootout? Hassan. There was a great red wall of Spanish shirts in the way there. El Hadawi Reset trying to stick with him. The least experienced of the Turkish defenders, Reset. Ibrahim and, and Abdullah look a good pair together. Hassan on the run for Turkey. Adolfo got back, got his body in front of the ball, comes away with it. Did really well. And he's left that for. El Hadawi. Referee just warning the defender against use of the hands there. El Hadawi seeking out Adolfo. It's a good switch. Adolfo's onto this. Good tracking back by Hassan. Adolfo again. The last eight minutes. Emra's return here for Turkey. Recep Salina for the time being. Number 
Karaman is back out there too. So we're pretty close to the, the eight, four outfield players that started the game for Turkey. Changed their goalkeeper, of course, at half time. Adolfo, direct route from the corner, causing a bit of chaos. Out by Ibrahim. A cameraman, a cameraman took down. Too hard. Javier Munoz, it was, who was taken down. Tackle from behind. towards Adolfo just got onto the location of the ball a little too late and it was past him Ooh, came off Ivan Lopez there and that was awkward for a second for the goalkeeper Emre looked like he was running out of space Six and a half minutes left. Referee wants the defenders the five meters from the corner. <laughs> Suggestion is that Spain have been encroaching a little bit from the corners. Emra. Well, he did have a little more space in which to operate. But he pulled the shot well wide of the near post. So the clock is ticking once again. A little over six minutes to go. The shouts of Voy coming in from the Turkish defenders to alert him to their presence for fairness and for safety. And try the shot from long, long range, really well blocked again. Abdullah. Emre hasn't caught up with the play, so the diagonal ball didn't really have a, a target. Adolfo away from Emre. And he's still chasing it, Adol Adolfo, and he was blocked off by Ibrahim, but Ibrahim had a, a better position. Karaman. Nice footwork. Good block by Javi Munoz. Sense the change of direction was coming. Super turn by Adolfo. Now, can he take advantage? El Hadawi is in there too. El Hadawi deflected into the goalkeeper's area. Promising moment for Spain. All came about through the skill of Adolfo. Just broke it open a little bit with that change of direction. Now, El Hadawi. <laughs> kept going to the right side and the Turkish defenders stayed moving with him and 
Last four minutes now. Spanish bench adamant there that Adolfo was pushed by Emra. Made that point very clearly to the officials. Caraman turning well away from Javi Munoz. It's loose again. Here's Caraman once more. Forceful from Adolfo. Emra, elusive running. Stuck right in by the corner flag there. Adolfo away. El Hadawi, good solid tackle by Ibrahim once again. Lovely turn, El Hadawi sent Ibrahim the wrong way and he went for goal. Aikut was just moving to his right, the goalkeeper. He had to react quite late in the day. Don't think it should have been a, a difficult save. Caraman at the other end got a long way and Adolfo blocked him. Referee's checking that Caraman is OK. It was a heavy collision and El hadawi has been fouled. Emra it was who brought the man down. That was the effort from El Hadawi a minute ago, set up by the skill in the, to begin with. He'd anticipated the goalkeeper, hasn't he? That it, it was going across him. And he had to react. Ivan Lopez is going off. Well, if he had another foul, he would have had to have gone off anyway. Kiera's coming back on. And here comes Chelal once again for the Turkish team with two minutes ten remaining. Confirmed as Turkey's third team foul. So if Spain can earn themselves another free kick somehow in the last two minutes ten, they'll get an effort from the eight meter mark or closer in. And that's certainly in the minds of the coach who was just confirming the count with the officials a short time ago. So that is a danger for the Turkish team. Chilal and Hassan on, Karaman and Abdullah off. Interception by Chalal in his own half. Emra on the left side. Hassan here on the right. Well found by the pass. Referee just stepping in to give the players an indication of the location of the uh, stationary ball. So will there be a winning goal? One minute 41 is all that remains. Chill out and Hassan are over this. Hassan looking for the, for the cross towards Emra. So we'll go again. The clock stops in the last uh, two minutes. So barely any time off the clock there. Information for 
all the attackers coming in from behind the goal from Hasan Yildirim, the Turkish guide. Hasan, oh well, well tackled, well stopped by El Hadawi. He went sprinting off down the the far boards. He's trying to bustle his way through all the way. More good work by Ibrahim. Adolfo should have this covered for Spain. Bounced up the clearance. I think it struck Marcelo, who was leaning over the boards. Ali Aktash back on for Turkey. I wonder if he fancies saving a penalty or two. He's certainly preparing for action, isn't he? Bouncing up and down, Ali Aktash. One minute three remaining. Hassan and Emra plotting something here from the restart. Emra to the right, the Spanish diamond moving well, and Sergio Rodriguez knew he was never going to be troubled at his near post from there. Last 45 seconds, Adolfo Chalal left the leg out there. Adolfo goes on. One goal will win it here. And put behind by Ibrahim. Just got a little anxious there for Turkey. Adolfo got a long way. And Chalal wasn't that far away from committing a foul, which would bring about a double penalty or a penalty from the eight meter mark or closer in if the foul's closer in. 34 seconds. Adolfo across. Oh, they did it brilliantly. And they were trying to engineer Hiera to arrive in time. It got trapped between his feet. They were really unlucky there. And now Hassan countering for Turkey. 20 seconds to go. That was nearly one of the goals of the tournament for Spain. 10 seconds. Unless Hassan can find this, he has. He's trying to make his way through. Hassan to win it. Oh, and Adolfo made the challenge. And with four seconds left, it dribbled through to the goalkeeper. And it's all over. What a dramatic ending. And what a great tackle by Adolfo to ensure that this will be decided by penalties. Well, a little scare at both ends right at the end of the match. Yeah, Adolfo deserves that hug from the goalkeeper. That was potentially a, a match saving tackle. Full-time score then, before we go to penalties, is Turkey nil, Spain nil. Spain very familiar with uh, penalty shootouts. Lost their semi-final to Turkey at the European Championships last year in that manner, but then beat England in a penalty shootout after a goalless draw for third place, and that turned out to be crucial in getting them here when Russia were, were thrown out. At the World Championships in 2014, four of their six matches ended uh, goalless, 
and three of those in shootouts. And they won the bronze beating China on penalties there. So very familiar territory in terms of the Paralympic Games. London 2012, they won the bronze on penalties. 1-0 against Argentina. And lost the bronze on penalties in Beijing four years prior to that after a one-all draw. Very close run thing. The match as a whole. Very little between the two teams. Turkey's chances were probably the clearer. The goalkeeper's union is strong, isn't it? And Sergio Rodriguez and uh, Ali Aktash wishing one another good fortune for this. Three penalties each team to begin with. And then evidently more than that if uh, the scores are level on a sudden death basis. Of course, the goalkeepers can't take the penalties. But they'll be hoping to save quite a few. Ali Aktash looks very comfortable with the fact that he's going to be one of the key performers here. So a shootout to decide fifth place in this competition. Sergio Rodriguez for Spain. He's a personal trainer when he's not playing football. And hoping to deny Abdullah with the first of these penalty kicks. So Turkey are going to go first. Six metres out. The goal two metres high and three metres wide. the instructions from the guide for Abdullah of Turkey. First kick in the shootout. Oh, what a strike that was. Whistled into the corner. Brilliant technique. Try saving that. Well, he's a defender by trade, Abdullah. He might fancy getting a bit further up the pitch on a more regular basis if he can finish like that. El Hadawi's turn then for Spain. Miguel Becerra with the instructions. El Hadawi to equalise, and Ali Aktash makes the save. He went early to his right. And there was plenty of his body in the way to make the block. And it wasn't right in the corner from El Hadawi. Advantage to Turkey. Guy just waiting until the referee gives him the green light to start speaking. Hassan Satai. To give Turkey a sizable advantage in the shootout. Oh, what a good save. What a good save. It was well hit again. 
again to the goalkeeper's right and just the right hand he got to it Ramos Javi Munoz for Spain. To equalise in the shootout for Spain. Oh, he's missed the target completely. Well, Ali Aktash had nothing to do here. That's disappointing. And the miss by Spain means that Turkey are one kick away now from winning the shootout and taking fifth place at the Paralympic Games. Emra Ochal to seal it for Turkey. Oh, and he went low down the middle. And Sergio somehow reacted to keep it out. Well, it wasn't the cleanest of hits from Emra. But it could have wrong footed Sergio Rodriguez. So we continue. But Spain must score. And it's the veteran Carmelo Garrido, the 44-year-old, who must do so. He must score. And he's put it wide. And Turkey have won the shootout. And it's Turkey who finish in fifth place at these games. And Spain are sixth. And they've missed the target with two of their penalties. And Carmelo can't believe it. Ah, you feel sorry for Carmelo, the 44-year-old. It might be his last kick at the Paralympic Games. And it went sailing wide of the post. If that is the case, it's, uh, it's not the way you'd wish to end your Paralympic career. But who knows, he may be back. Turkey have won the shootout by one to nothing after a nil-nil draw. It's they who finish in fifth place.